Welcome to our Tech Tuesday Zero Gravity Workstation presentation. My name is Jay Wheeler. I'm the occupational therapist on the team and an assistive technology specialist. My name is Todd Bowman. I'm also an assistive technology specialist here at UCAT. Next slide. Okay, zero gravity makes it sound like these workstations are, you know, going to make people float in the air, but uh, we'll, we'll describe what that is and why it's called zero gravity workstation. So the zero gravity chair, the idea came from the launch position used by astronauts. Um, it's, it's a neutral position that um, keeps blood flow to the brain reduces edema in the lower extremities and spreads out the pressure of the G-force of the launch throughout the entire spine without putting any potential risk to damaging the spine during the high G takeoff. Next slide. So here on earth, zero gravity chairs also help distribute force. There's no launch <laughs> launch forces we're dealing with, but uh, the, the, the force of gravity can, can be problematic for, for folks that have some unique uh, medical conditions. Um, the, the benefits of the zero gravity chair, they, they lower the pressure on the vertebrae in the back from the neck all the way down to the lower back, um, reduces pressure on joints, uh, a lot of different joints, improves uh, uh, blood flow and reduces swelling, edema in lower extremities as the feet are raised, especially above the heart, um, allows users to almost infinitely vary their position between one extreme position and the other, so they can easily adjust uh, position. And some of the features that these uh, recliners, these specialized recliners have are, uh, some have heated zones, articulated feet and head sections, and some even have massage. The zero gravity workstation is a computer station that's built around a zero gravity chair. Um, we don't just recommend these as a luxury. If we recommend them, it's because it's necessary and reasonable for the client to have this so that they are able to work extended periods of time, uh, either at home or in an office using a computer. Um, they can work longer hours and um, have a, a full-time job without significant pain. And they are highly adjustable and um, they do fit a lot of unique postures and uh, unique needs. Next slide. So um, who could benefit from one of these zero gravity workstations? You know, as Jay mentioned, people that can re cannot reasonably and sustainably use standard office, office task chairs or office seating. Um, some of these conditions that, that uh, uh, you know, may may uh, uh, be benefit maybe benefit from using a zero gravity workstation. Um, several different back injuries, scoliosis, degenerative spine conditions, disc herniations, compressions, slipped disc, and other back injuries. Uh, some autoimmune disorders, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, um, different joint injuries, hip, knee, foot injuries. Um, potentially, folks with different. Uh, vertigo uh, conditions as well. And, and so ideally what the zero gravity chair does is if you have a stenosis where this, the vertebra is pressing on a nerve, that nerve impingement is what's causing the pain. In this position, it allows that stenosis to relax as the vertebra slowly space apart, reducing in the impingement on the nerves and, and allowing them to have better blood flow, um, reduced nerve pain, and then of course, increased uh, work time. Next slide. Uh, UCAT Zero Gravity Workstation. Um, Tom, why don't you take this one to describe what you've designed? Okay. So, um, you know, currently there's no state contracted furniture vendors that we can get the Zero Gravity Workstation, for, uh, work uh, the chairs, excuse me, from um, typically we, we like to go through relax the back. They have a good showroom that we can take clients to. This, these are even these are not a one size fits all. Um, so, so it's best to have uh, uh, clients go and physically try out a chair. Um, the features and the size of the chair that can then be tailored to the client. Um, what we here at UCAT Fabricate, you'll notice 
In this photo, there's a, uh, it's a, actually a plywood base within a steel plate, and you can kind of see the a black steel post. So what UCAT does is, um, you know, if this is, uh, you know, recommended for a client and funded, um, we build that base, this, the steel plate and the post, um, and then the uh, USOR, the, the, the office would then uh, cover the cost of the monitor arms the chair and then any computer equipment that's needed. But we we have enough material still for probably at least another six, six of these bases uh, with the post and the mounting plate. So the, uh, the costs vary um, without the uh, computer, uh, computer equipment, typically about uh, $800. And the cost for the uh, materials comes out of UCAT budget. The, um, another thing we haven't done yet, but there is a potential for someone who needs to work from a wheelchair, it could be used um, to, as a, a wheelchair station if they have to be, especially if they have to be reclined. Um, that is a potential use for this uh, workstation as well. Even though I look scared, it, it wasn't a scary thing. That's, <laughs> but, that's a relaxed face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's a video of our, um, uh, of our colleague Bryce. Uh, in the zero gravity workstation that shows uh, some of the movements. Let's see if this will work. And that's Bryce's comfortable face. He's very comfortable. And so you can see that, that the um, monitor arms and, and the uh, custom fabricated keyboard tray um, is highly adjustable. You see his feet going now above his heart. And once in position, you can work like that if you have severe nerve pain for much longer than you could if you were sitting vertically with all the pressure on your spine. And clients will adjust this throughout the day, you know, depending on their needs and what their pain level is. Typically, human beings in a seated position need to move approximately every 20 minutes. If, if you are typically have everything typical, um, you automatically do it. You don't have to think about it. A person who has paraplegia, they have to move themselves so that they don't get skin breakdown. But it, th that positional change it just happens automatically for humans. So next. UCAT will be take care of the setup and delivery. With that, we would like um, everything delivered to UCAT so that we can install everything all at once. Um, and once the components are fabricated and um, we'll, we'll contact everybody that is involved, all the stakeholders, um, we'll deliver up, we'll deliver it. Um, the, the floor space required is, is about five by eight feet. Roughly what I say is um, they'll need this, this, the footprint of a full size bed to be able to accommodate this workstation. If they cannot, um, then it makes it very difficult to use at home. Also, it's very important that the clients have a clear path to wherever it is they want their workstation placed. Because if we go and there are furniture boxes or everything in the way, it takes quite a bit longer to do the install. And then the total cost of the workstation without the PCs and monitors in th this realm is anywhere from 3,500 to approximately 6,000. Next slide. So there are some commercially available zero gravity workstations. Um, one of the, I mean, there's not a whole lot of options uh, available commercially, but one of the, the better known ones is a company called ErgoQuest in Grand Rapids, Michigan. They have a large variety of these zero gravity workstations. The prices with shipping range conservatively from 6,000 to 18,000 without you know, the computer equipment. Um, a lot of these workstations have a larger footprint. They just simply take up a lot more space than, uh, than our workstations do. Um, there's another one uh, you can see at the bottom, that picture there, uh, a workstation called Altwork. Um, limited configurations. Um, they, they don't have some of the articulation and the, the features that, uh, that ours and as well as the EuroQuest does. Um, but 
pretty neat uh, nonetheless. Those the cost on those workstations are anywhere from uh, 6,500 to 9,500. Again, without the uh, PC monitor and computer equipment. And and again, the majority of the cost with the the UCAT workstations is the chair. We cannot build that chair. It is. Um, it's a highly specified, highly specific um, piece of equipment, and it's it's a really good um, ergonomic piece of ergonomic furniture that is very functional and effective for what we're trying to accomplish for our patients with pain. It, it also is possible to uh, to use, say, a, a standard rec not maybe a standard recliner, but a recliner. Um, you know, with these workstations as well. Um, there's, it's essentially what we build here at UCAT is the base and the post to which the monitor arms and everything attach. So if there's a, a recliner that is, you know, will actually meet the client's needs, that's that's also a possibility. If you all have any questions about this, please contact me, Jay, or Tom here at UCAT. And thank you very much for your time. And um, I hope you refer your clients to us so that we can help uh, get them what they need. Thank you. Thanks.